I need to remove, clean, and if need be, rebuild the carburetor from this Briggs & Stratton Intec engine. I'll show you how to do it. Let's start tearing this down here. That's nice and free. That's your fuel shut off. It's electronic. We can check that quick, but that should be fine. I hooked that fuel solenoid back up for the shut off. Just make sure that's working on and off. Yep, she's fine. Nice and clean in there. Pull the float off. And the needle looks good. It's the main jet, that's nice and open. It's nice and clean in here. The rubber O-rings seem all right on the intake. Rubber O-ring seems all right. And that's this little port in here is clogged. Boy, that's tiny. No, that's good. Main jet here. That's open. The emulsion tube here, it's got these little tiny ports here, little holes. Make sure those are clean. There's two more holes over here. That's nice and clear there. Well, the ports seem nice and clear. All right, let's put it back together. I didn't spray this rubber gasket here because that'll cause it to deform and then it's not gonna fit back on there. You'd have to replace that. It's gonna blow all this out though, make sure we're all clear. Everything looks good. Clear and open. That's all open too.
just to make sure the needle's working, I'm going to blow on this and the float's down now, but I'll lift it up, make sure it's pushing air through. Working great. Put the float bowl back on. go back and reinstall it. All right, we're good to go. And that's how easy it is to remove clean and reinstall your carburetor on a Briggs & Stratton Intec engine. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.